The Sumi art was introduced in Japan in the Chinese 7th century, which dates back to around 2000 BC. Over time, this art also established itself as typical Japanese art, with major contributions made by the monk Toba Sojo, who painted the Choju Giga in the Heian period, 795 to 1185, and Seshu in the Muromaki period, 1,333 to 1,587, considered to be the first purely Japanese style of Sumie painting. Terms related to the art are Sumi, Ink, Suzuri, Bookshow, Art, Kami, Paper, and Fude, Brush. Sumie, also called Suibokuva, refers to the Japanese painting with monochromatic ink, a technique that began in China during the Sun Dynasty, 960 to 1274, and was assimilated by the Japanese in the 14th century with the help of the Zen Buddhist monks. The Sumi had its roots in Chinese calligraphy. The strokes learned in calligraphy are the same as those used in painting. The important thing is that Sumi not only represents a beautiful and unique art form, but also a philosophy. While most of the classical Western painting had as both the realistic description of the world and its objects, Sumi has always been an expression of the perception of the artist. Painters trying to capture the essence of an object, person, or a landscape, a greater importance to suggestion than for realism. Western painting used color to create shadows, shades, and a sense of space. Traditional sumie, on the other hand, used only black ink. In Oriental painting, black ink is the highest simplification of color. In the beginning of 10th century, Japan started a great intercourse with China, sending students abroad to assimilate the best that Chinese culture had, with special attention toward calligraphy and religion. This interchange continued for a few centuries, until the time when the Japanese, through a series of internal changes, adapted what they had learned to their needs. A legacy left by this bond of friendship was the seed of what would become the Zen Buddhism, having as its date of birth the 12th century. Sumi, according to its origin, possesses the main feature the speed in which it is performed. The artistic inspiration is transmitted in the shortest possible time, where there is no space for reflection or thought or what is being done. The artist must follow his spontaneous inspiration. There is no possibility of any correction or repetition. A stroke should be seen as unique. If there is any mistake, it is lifeless, and with all, the work becomes lost. This was the spirit that led many samurai to practice Zen and Sumi. The strike of the sword must be done spontaneously with no chance for correction or reflection. Otherwise, one would already be dead due to the speed that the class appeared. In Sumi, an ink made of soot and glue is used, as well as brush made with the wool of sheep or the fur of badgers, in order to retain much liquid but is the paper, oftentimes thin and absorbent, which gives the main characteristics of the style of painting. The reason for choosing such fragile material to transmit artistic inspiration was that it has to come forth as quick as possible. If the brush is too slow on the paper, it is transposed. The white color in the paper's background, original color, is related to the universe. You do not see a setting, thus, the feature related to the emptiness is maintained. The philosophy of the Sumi painting is to transfer the spirit of an object to the paper, with no intention in creating a realistic artwork. Its stroke must be full of energy, ki, life energy that exists in all things. Its traits have to show its vitality and life. A dot is not an eagle and a line the Mount Fuji. The dot is a bird and the line is the mountain. The Sumi artist, as well as the master that crafts the samurai force, put his mind at work and creates life through the artistic expression. 
Shinichi Hisamatsu, philosopher and profound expert of the Zen art, emphasized seven features which should exist within a Zen work of art. They are symmetry, fukinsei, simplicity, kanso, naturalness, shizen, depth, yugen, detachment, datsuzoku, stillness, and inner serenity, seijaku. Therefore, not all artworks can be classified as Zen beauty. The main motives related to the Sumye are bamboo, plum, orchids, flowers, birds, and landscape. Not forgetting those associated to religious sense such as paintings of the patriarch or parable. There is nowadays a train in putting colors in some parts of the painting, especially where color is a way of demonstrating the spirit of the object. The effect occur in many things, such as the petals of flowers. To paint Sumie, the practitioner must know perfectly the object he is about to paint in order to avoid the presence of reasoning or questioning during the creative process and no most constant observation of things surrounding must take place. And this practice also brings a greater awareness regarding life because through it a greater awareness of things and people around us start to exist. The combination of painting Poetry and calligraphy was the preferred artist composition in Japan during the first half of the 15th century, especially in Zen circles. The programming of this rose with poems and painting, shigajiku, and the commitment towards making a work of art intertwined in all levels and sense was crystallized here as the best. Eventually, the shutting down of emotions and desires and the deepening throughout meditation was compared with entering a pumpkin. At first it is difficult, the opening is too straight, then the view is broadened. However, soon comes a narrow passage, overcoming it when she has the feeling of being in an undisturbed lake. But finally, if we are to continue until complete freedom of all structures and limitation of the phenomenal world, the pumpkin must be shattered.